Good morning and welcome to the 2019 commencement at Chatham Charter School. It is our honor and privilege to share in today's service with you. We ask that you take a moment to be sure your cell phones are silenced so they don't accidentally interfere with the service that is being recorded. Joining us on stage today, Board Chair Bill Hagis, Board Member David Beaver, Administrator Beth McCullough, Commencement Speaker Amber Vaughn, Commencement Speaker VM Roots, Central Carolina Community College President, Dr. Lisa Chapman, Teacher of the Year, Gary Oakley, and Administrator, Etta Fashi. In addition to our staff, family, and friends, several distinguished guests have been able to join us today. They include members of our Board of Directors, leaders of the North Carolina Association of Public Charter Schools, faculty from our academic partner, Central Carolina Community College, local town officials, and lay coaches of our athletic teams. Finally, we would like to recognize any Chatham Charter alum. This includes anyone who attended our school at any point, as well as members of the class of 2016, class of 2017, and class of 2018. Alumni, please stand and be recognized. If you haven't already gotten an alumni button like this one, please see one of the people who greeted you at the doors before you leave to receive one. Events like today's are one more reason why we continue to be proud and celebrate our rich traditions at Chatham Charter. This has been one incredible journey. To start off, I'd like to tell each and every single one of you that you should be proud of yourselves. Parents, you should be proud of your students. And the faculty of both Central Carolina Community College and Chatham Charter, you should be proud of your students. Being a part of this class and having a part to play in its wild, unpredictable journeys has been nothing more than a privilege. Today, we hit a new chapter of our lives. And as important as it is to look forward in this present moment, I believe it is just as important to look back at the steps and the ladders we had to climb to get to where we are today. I'm sure everyone has had a different experience at this school, but that is exactly what has made it worthwhile. With the classes that are available at this school and at CCCC, Charter has provided an incredibly diverse platform to where people can find what they connect to and what they don't. Every single person sitting in these seats in front of me is unique in their own right. They have their own talents, their own drives, and they have their own unique goals for the future. Your experiences as students of Chatham Charter, whether they were good, imperfect, or both, helped, you sh helped shape who you are as a person, and they gave you the opportunity to see yourself somewhere in the future. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't all rainbows and kittens all the way through. Personally, and I know a lot of these graduates can relate, at times it was nauseating, it was stressful, and it was just plain overwhelming. This brings me to my goal for my speech. I'd like everyone sitting in the seats before me to not only see the negative memories that you have and the flaws of your journey, I'd like you to look past that and see all the times that made it truly special. Whether it was a teacher or a professor that had a great impact on you, or whether it was just a group of friends, Retain the good memories, remember each other, because when I look back at our time at this school, what makes me smile is the people that I have formed a family with. There is no class that I would rather have graduated with. Thank you. Last Sunday evening, we held a senior honor night during which we recognized the achievements of the students. Members of the Chatham Charter class of 2019 earned a grand total of 1,412 college credits over the last two years. These young people have earned an array of scholarship money. To date, the total is $605,211 annually, which will translate to $2 million 
$373,909 over the next four years. With only a few local scholarships having been announced at this point, we anticipate the final total may increase. Here we are. After four long years of studying, sleepless nights, and lots of caffeine, we finally made it. Today, we celebrate our successes and make toast to our accomplishments. But just for the next few minutes, I would like to talk to you about something else, failure. Now, while you may be wondering why I want to bring this up, because today we are celebrating our lack of failure, especially in a certain area called English class, but just hang with me for a second. Many people will tell you that their failures mean just as much to them as their successes, and there is a very important reason why. We will all hit hard times, we will all fail, but what is important is that we learn from the failures. We don't let that failure define us, the way we handle the failure is what defines us. We will all fall at one point or another, we will all stumble and struggle to get back up, but what is important is that we reflect and recognize why it was that we failed, and use that to motivate us to keep going. As Henry Ford once put it, the only real mistake is the one from which we learn nothing. Failure is okay, making mistakes is okay, but it is not okay to not learn from these. You have been given this opportunity to develop, so you must take advantage of it. If you want to reach your goals and achieve what you have set out to do, it is imperative that you are able to expand and learn. A wise man once told me that you've got to go out and take the bull by the horns. Do not let that fear of failure keep you from attempting to reach your goals. Be fearless in your pursuits. Do not let anything hold you back. It is most likely that what you think the worst possible thing to happen is, is probably going to end up being the best. Persevere, grow, learn, and most importantly, remember, you do not need to be the best. You only need to do your best. Graduates, the moment that you have been waiting for has finally arrived. Today we recognize your dedication and achievement through the awarding of diplomas. Guests, please respect our wishes to remain quiet and hold all applause until names are called. There will be plenty of time for celebration soon. Staff and stage guests, please take your places. As they do so, you will note four members of our staff are wearing silver stoles. This indicates they have a family member in the graduating class. They will greet their graduates as they exit the stage. Board member David Beaver is also the parent of a senior and will present his son's diploma. Seniors, you will nod to the knight upon leaving the stage. This is a meaningful way for you as a knight to say goodbye to us as you venture to your next challenge. Ellen Andre Austin. David Figueroa Alvarez. Owen Jackson Beaver. <laughs> Olivia Grace 
Bennett. John Samuel Blanton the Fifth. Ashton Elizabeth Bristow. Hannah Vivian Burke. Jackson Wayne Burke. Janice Marie Crisco. Caroline Ann Clapp. Hunter Taven Cole. Tyler Jackson Detmer. Andrew Snyder Dunn. Miranda Page Griffin. Anthony Dean Hefner. Jaron Laughlin Hendrickson.
Emma Bray Jones. Allison Jane Jordan. Joshua Harper Limeberry. Tiana Jasmine Lowry. Brandon Reese Martin. Cody Milan Morgan. <coughs> Jonathan Christian Nava Plata. Gabrielle Elizabeth Radka. Ella Annette Randall. David Reed Rickman the third. Colby Davison Riddle. Bio D. Rodriguez. VM Roots Sean 
Garrett Sasser. Rachel Ann Smith. Megan Joe Snyder. Grace Elizabeth Snow. Amber Glenn Vaughn. Cordell Hayes Wanless. Amani Shane Watson. James Allen Womack. Please welcome the commencement choir to the stage. At our first commencement, we established a tradition of forming a special choir comprised of students, staff, family members, and alumni to give a Chatham Charter family blessing as we send our graduates into their post high school endeavors.
as head of school at Chatham Charter, I certify that these seniors have met all the high school graduation requirements set forth by the Chatham Charter Board of Directors and the State of North Carolina. By the power vested in me, I hereby declare the class of 2019 to be graduates of Chatham Charter School. <laughs> graduates, you may turn your tassels. Ladies and gentlemen, let me be the first to introduce to you the class of 2019. Thank you for joining us today and for all your support throughout the years together. Honored guests on stage and staff, please stand for the recessional.